Hello, I'm very glad to see you. Today I'm going to draw a water drop. And don't leave because at the end of the tutorial I'm going to show you two paintings to give examples of how you can use a water drop in a work of art. To start, I trace the shape of the drop and go over it. In a transparent object, the light behaves in a particular way. Let's say that the beams of light come from the top left. Then the darkest part will be precisely on this side, as the light will go through the drop and illuminate the bottom right. And here, if anything, will be a little reflection. Down here, then, will be the most light. I start shading the darkest part of the drop. I'm using a slightly hard lead, an H. It would cast a shadow on this side, but in the middle of it would be a light. Then with a brush, I smudge the graphite for a more even finish. I reinforce the shadow in the vicinity to the drop, and then smudge it. With a kneaded eraser, I pull some reflections. And then with a white pencil, pastel-like, I reinforce the lights. It is dry, a sort of chalk. I darken a little further. This is not a drawing paper and is leaving me black spots. Even after smudging, you can still see them. Therefore, I sharpen my eraser like an ant eater <laughs> and I pull the dots. Then, if I left some white spots, I fill them in carefully with the lead. It should be smooth and uniform to look like a water drop. I want to give it even more light. The beauty of drawing on a tone paper is that the lights really stand out, especially if they go with some good shadows. I will extend it further up although this part is going to be flatter and without reflections. I hope you liked it, that's finished. And as promised, I'll show you two paintings. This is an oil on canvas called Freshness. It's a pretty simple one. While this doesn't have a water drop, it has about 320 drops. I would really love to know what you think about it. You can write me in the comment section on the video. And if you like the tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. You know where to follow me and where are the links. See you next Tuesday.